Sandra Pupatello, uh, we were talking a little bit about the kind of the current economic climate with interest rate hikes, inflation. Uh, Gary uh, artfully led us into thinking ahead because in seven or eight weeks, there will be a federal budget, uh, most likely. So love to get your sense of, of the lay of the land economically and how that plays into the next budget cycle. Well, I think a few things have changed over the course of the last year or so, and that is our the global effort to help Ukraine, I think that is still hanging over our heads and causing a lot of consternation about what impact is that going to have on ongoing energy issues. Uh, and that has a lot to do with what's happening in Europe right now. Those those energy bills are, are just pounding them. If we're complaining in North America, they are really complaining in Europe. Um, so I think we've got a lot of uncertainty. And the finance minister was hinting at that last week, saying, look, we don't think we're out of the woods here. We're going to have to be careful. And to me, that's the kind of language that Joe will be familiar as a former finance minister. You sort of have to start uh, reeling us in slowly on the idea that uh, this isn't going to be a free for all. And I don't anticipate that the federal budget will be. I think it will be very cautionary. And they are starting to talk that way now. Um, ideally, they've got a, a health agenda with provinces that uh, ideally, they'll be able to look at out years for larger spending. Um, I always marveled at the provincial level that even if you threw billions of dollars at an issue, it doesn't happen overnight anyway. You don't have the manpower, female power uh, to put people on the ground and make a difference quickly. So these types of things are very long term. And hopefully by the time we're having much more spending in healthcare, we're also getting ourselves out of the worst of a of a maybe a small recession. Uh, I also think that uh, we've had enough of the rate hikes. I was very happy to hear uh, Mr. Macklem talk about a pause to just give us some idea that, OK, maybe this is it um, for people say 60 and over. They'll well remember the 80s when. Uh, this interest rate would have looked like a dream compared to what people were suffering. But this generation has never seen interest rates like we have right now. And I think it's put a huge chill in the market. Uh, GTA is already seeing it, not just with housing sales down, but housing prices dropping tremendously. So I think it's having that effect. So let's stop already. Let, let's uh, Let's get back to an even keel. Uh, Joe Oliver, what uh, do you expect or hope for in this uh, budget cycle? What what do you think Christia Freeland is going to be doing or not doing? Well, those are two different uh, questions. Uh, what I what I hope for and what I expect may not uh, may not uh, be be the same. Uh, you know, uh, let me just start with with uh, Gary's comments about the need for fiscal and monetary policy uh, to to work together and and. And, and frankly, in the last little while, it's been the Bank of Canada that's had to shoulder most of the uh, most of the burden. Because as we know, the uh, the federal debt has has doubled in in the last uh, six years, and total uh, federal and provincial debt um, is forecasted to go to about two trillion dollars uh, this year, which is uh, roughly equivalent to, to GDP. So when I hear um, the the Minister of Finance talking about the prudence. Uh, on the one hand, I'm encouraged to hear that, and on the other hand, I'm uh, I'm skeptical, but but hope uh, hope I'm not uh, too too pessimistic. She has indicated, uh, Christian Freeland has indicated that she's going to be focusing on on healthcare and green initiatives and try to be uh, prudent. Well. Um, yeah, that's that's a fair a balancing act. We we know uh, that there's tremendous pressure on on the healthcare system provincially, and they they do need, they do need more more capital. They they also need to to make some fundamental structural changes, which uh, Ontario is is starting uh, to do. Um, but you know the green initiatives, and part of it, of course, is is uh, uh, I think it was Sandra mentioned uh, the the uh, the U.S. Uh, move uh, to support uh, green energy initiatives through their uh, so-called or badly called uh, Inflation Reduction Act has put tremendous uh, competitive pressure on Canada. So there's going to be a lot of, um, of, of asks here and, and a lot of uh, political pressure to make expenditures. But, you know, this is a classic situation. Um, Keynes uh, John Maynard Keynes was uh, was an economist uh, that uh, that liberals used to follow. You know, you you sort of uh, save uh, 
up when you can during a period of growth, and then you have the reserve used during during an economic downturn. Well, an economic downturn is not inevitable, but it, it, it likely will will happen, and not necessarily a deep one. Uh, right. But the, but the cupboard is sort of bare, right. and uh, yeah. you know that's the dilemma. Yeah. Uh, we're going to just take a brief break, guys, and uh, we'll come back to you very shortly. Please stay with us.